The objective of this lesson is to learn how to make a moving legend. So as you can see in this graph, I have my target and I have my sales. If I add a new month of sales, you can see that the sales will move with the chart. How do I do this? We're going to start with a blank sheet, which has my months, my sales, and my targets. Now, what will I do? First, I'll create a couple of columns. I will create another sales column and another target column. The target, as you can see here, it's a legend at the end, right? So I'm just going to copy this 500 and keep it here. Now, the problem comes with my sales because every time I'm moving, I want my sales to move with the graph. So I need to record only my last sale. I don't want the rest. And this is how the graph will work. Once we put the graph, you'll see that how this works. But basically, I need a formula where I'm going to have only 180 and the rest will be nothing. If I add another uh, data point here, I need this data point and the rest will be nothing. So the formula is actually an if formula and then we embed an end formula. So first thing to get this value, I need a value. So here I don't have a value, so I don't need it. So I'm going to say and this is different than nothing. The second condition, the next cell should be nothing because for example here this 170, I don't want it because there is 180 after it. So I'm just going to write this cell is equal to nothing so if this is nothing and this is a value what will happen i need this value otherwise i don't need anything but if i put nothing like those two double quotation the chart will give me some weird uh, numbers at the bottom it will have zeros and i don't want to show these zeros and I don't want to have a line for the zero. So what will I do? I will use the NA. NA will give me this NA and Excel tends to ignore a value that is NA. So that will be good for me for this chart. So I just drag the formula. And as you can see, I have my 180. If I add 200, the 200 will come here. So again, if we look at the formula, I'm checking whether this cell is not blank. This cell is blank then give me the number. If not, just write an A. Now we're gonna format this and we are ready to add our chart. So I select my data, I do insert, and then I select a line chart. For example, this one, we can move it a little bit. I'll give it a title. I'm gonna say uh, sales performance versus target. I can select this and then I can go to home, click on P to bold it, and then I have my basics. Now, I want to add a legend here. If you see at the bottom, I have two sales and two targets. Why? Because I have two sales and two targets, but sales has only one data point and target has only one data point. This is why you're not seeing this on the chart. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use this to write target here and I'm going to use this to write sales here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here at the end. So you, as you can see, you have target 500. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do format access. So here I get access to my format access and then I'm going to click again here, add a plus and say, I want my data label to appear. Now my data label appears. What will I do with my data label? I click on it and I want to modify it. First thing we're going to do, I don't want this 500. So I don't want the value. I want the series name. So I get target and I want it, let's say above. So I'll keep it above. Now here I need to do the same thing. So I'll click on this. I'm going to uh, click here. I'm going to do data labels. I get my 180. What will I do now? I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on values. I don't want it. I want the series name, which is sales. And I want it, for example, on the right. So I have it. And then I close this. We need to get rid of those duplicates. So we click one time on the uh, legend. Then we click one time inside. We get rid of sales with the delete button. Then one time on uh, this, the legend. One time inside, then delete. Why am I doing all this? It's because if I want to show data labels here, 
I need to uh, to be able to do it. If I use the last one and put my target, I won't be able to do it. Now this target again, if I don't like it here, I can also move it to the right, as you can see here. So when I click here and I add my labels, I don't have overlapping labels. Same thing for my sales. So I can have data labels, for example, of my sales. Then I click on my data labels and then I can have label options, for example, below. So then we don't have overlapping numbers. And this is how you get your chart. If I come here and I add, for example, 200 and 250, you can see that my chart is automatically updating.